Hey, hey. You look nice. I have a job interview in an hour. Receptionist at an ad agency. Oh, yeah? Can you see me answering phones? Oh, of course, you got a great speaking voice. Thanks. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm uh, just grabbing a quick coffee. I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, no, you're, you're not. I'm staring at the same sentence for 10 minutes right now. <laughs> okay. Wow, well, Sam. Um. Well, she lost her hearing in the explosion. What? Hopefully it's not permanent, but they don't, they don't know yet. Oh, I hope she'll be okay. Yeah, what about Brenda? Me, any clues as to where Theo took her? My dad got a hold of this guy who works for Theo. Okay, I'm kind of surprised that your dad would want you involved. He doesn't. This guy, Butler, he 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 took my mom hostage, right? And and, and they're at my mom's house. And my dad showed up, and by the time I got there, he was tied to a chair. And my parents were yelling. My mom claimed that he didn't know anything. Oh, it sounds like your mom was a little quick to defend the guy who kidnapped her. Yeah, my dad thought so, too. It's, he wanted me and my mom to leave, but I knew if I didn't, if I would have stayed there, that he probably wouldn't have hurt Sean, but... Dante showed up and he had to go. Okay, so basically, you saved this guy's life. Yeah, but what if... What if this guy had information that could have saved Brendan, and because of me, they'll never find her? My dad wanted answers out of this guy, and I'm the reason you didn't get him. You did what you thought was right. I just think about my dad and how he would do anything it took to find Brenda, and I get that. If you were held hostage by some psycho that can kill you at any single second, I would do anything it took to find you, so I understand. I don't believe that. Oh, you think I'd just leave you in danger? No, I think that you would risk your life. But I don't believe for a second that you would tie someone to a chair and, and threaten them with God knows what. You have a conscience. That's a good thing. Yeah, unless you get somebody killed. Michael, look, I, I know how hard it must have been to go against your father, but you did it because you love him. And because you couldn't stand the idea of this guy, Sean, being brutalized. It's probably because of what happened to you in prison. Oh, it's, it's totally different. Was it? This guy, Sean, was trapped. So were you. <laughs> so basically, I'm more screwed up than I even realized. Look, it is not screwed up to show empathy and compassion when some people are hurt they they deal with it by inflicting pain on others you did the opposite you couldn't stand by and, and just watch anyone get hurt i respect that so much and i know that your dad does too i can't agree with my father trying to do to that guy but i understand it i want to help find brenda what do you think that you could do? I don't know. Ask questions. If you didn't grab Brenda alone, somebody's got to know something. Well, you're still on parole, Michael. And you can't afford any trouble. You sound like my mom. Abby, uh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean that at all. You don't remind me of my mom. It's <laughs> okay. Good to know. And just for the record, um, I don't feel at all maternal about you. Good. I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is that my mom doesn't want me to get involved in anything my father's doing because it can risk my parole. Well, your dad is going to break the law. Your mom doesn't want to see you go down that road because she knows that you're better than that. Yeah, I know. There's got to be something I can do. Just watch and wait. Maybe you'll see an opportunity. You certainly helped me. I got to get to uh, that job at the interview with the ad agency. Well, good luck. Thank you. See you later. Okay. Hey, Molly. Hey, Abby. I'll see ya. Bye. Hey, Michael. Hey. You okay? That guy who just left. I saw him at the hospital earlier. He tried to kill Sean. Well, you saw that guy at the hospital? Yes, he was an orderly. At least he was dressed like one. I walked in and saw him holding a pillow over Sean, and Sean was shoving him off. Okay, there's no chance you're exaggerating what you saw. No, I swear. I offered to call for help, but Sean told me to step out into the hall like he was trying to get me out of the way. Okay, no, and then I'm the orderly... Check, I'm, I'm, I'm coming with you. No, 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 no. It's probably nothing. Would you just stay here, okay? following me. 
Remember you and Sean Butler's room this morning? What is it to you? You work for Theo Hoff. What the hell are you talking about? You don't want to talk to me? Maybe you'd rather talk to my father, Sonny Corinthos? All right, kid. Now we have a problem. You shouldn't have pulled that gun. Yeah. Well, you can't turn me over to your father if you're dead. You kill me, my father will hunt you down like an animal that we know where to hide. I'll be protected. By who, Theo Hoffman? Then worked too well for Sean Butler, now did it. Look, Sonny Corinthos is a man of his word. You put the gun down, I'll call him. You tell him everything you know about Theo Hoffman and you'll be golden. You turn him, Theo, I'll be dead. Please, drop the gun. Back off, or he's dead.